Today I'll be teaching you how to do basic things on spreadsheet. First we'll have to go to your Google Drive and create a new spreadsheet. Once your spreadsheet is created you can rename it whatever you want to. Where it loads. Right. <clears throat> There's a few basic things you need to know about spreadsheet before you get started. The basic tools shown here are different things to help you out in pretty much shortcuts. We'll come back to these, but this one is to select the font you want to enter. This is to change the font size of what of the text you have. This will bold your text this will italicize your text and this decides your font color fill color is what color the inside of your certain cell each one of these is considered a cell fill color is what the inside of that is colored so you can change that to red that's what happens alright we'll be making a budget for me for this month um, to start off, you can type in your title or whatever you want to like what you want to name your spreadsheet. Uh, we'll name this Cole's monthly budget. So right now that's terrible and that's not centered or anything. If you want to merge that and center it over the two columns that we're going to be using, what we'll have to do, is select both of these and go to the merge cells button right here once it's merged it's aligned to the left and there's nothing special about it we can change it to bold and increase the font size to 12 after that to get it to the center of both of the cells we have merged it with you'll go over here go down you can left center or right align it we're gonna center align it Right here, this is a little subtitle we're going to make. And we will go merge cells, center, and that's all we'll do for there. Okay. Right here, we'll type item. And over here, we'll type cost. We will bold and center these also. Now I'm going to type in the items quick. Alright, once we have all of these, notice how this is double stacked. Now, to make this, but to not mess up our alignment, all I have to do is go right up here and change that just a little bit. And your alignment will automatically go back to center between the two cells, or yeah, the two columns that you picked, and everything will remain centered. For cost, we're just going to enter the values right now, and then I'll show you how to change them to dollar amounts.
All right. Now to go in, we can select all of these. The difference between selecting and oh, that's selecting. Dang it. So then we can go up here. We can change it to percent currency. And here's all the other options we can do. Decimals, two decimals, rounded. There's a lot of things. Scientific. But we're just going to go back out here and do format as currency. Oh, there we go. Oh, I forgot to do... Ah, shoot. There we go. All right. So now we have the cost, but now we want to find the total. And we don't want the total to fit in with everything else, so it doesn't look like another item. So we're going to bold it. We're going to line it to the right. Now, there's a thing on spreadsheets called functions. You can, uh, I'll show you here. You can find the sum, the average, count, maximum, minimum, and there's much more. But for now, we're going to do the sum. Now, once you have the sum function selected, simply go to the cell, the first cell you want to add, click it, drag all the way down until the last cell you want to add with that function. Now, enter. It'll automatically give you what you want. So let's say you want to go back and your electric bill came in at 175 this month. Pay attention to the total when I hit enter. The function automatically makes the price adjust to what to the cells that you have added together. So now we have the total and the monthly income is $2500. So we want to find out how much we have left. So now we'll bold and right align this. Now we can insert a function minus, and we will go uh, B11, or no, we'll take 2500 minus and then we'll find our total cell B11 and then click enter now we'll take up here we'll go up here to the format as currency so that gives you how much money is left over so now after this uh, monthly budget say you want to share it with a friend or your wife you can go right up here to share and you can type in the email address of the person you want to send this to. So that's the basics of the spreadsheet. Um, there's a ton of other advanced things you can look at and you, it's really easy to just fiddle around and look at things yourself. But let, let's say now we want to make this a little bit more of, I don't know, a pretty spreadsheet. Now we can go down here to this fill, select the fill color that we want to use. All right, let's change that to a darker blue. And then we can go up to the top, fill that with a light hint. Now you have a filled up, now it looks professional. So that's all that's some of the basics you need to know for a spreadsheet. Thanks for watching.